And then Mary, you still standing by? Hi. Hi. Thank you so <laughs> much. No, it was interesting. I I love hearing about the moms in the rap audience. Right? That Finally something great. we can relate to. I feel like a mom in at any rap show. Yeah. Right. I always feel like a mom nowadays. I have, I'm not a mom. Are we started? Are we interviewing? Yeah. I'll, I'll say oh. my next guest, you know, her from Ponish. <laughs> You've got some great sets on there. Also from Solar Opposite on Hulu, Mary Mack. Thank you for being here. Hi, Moses. Thanks for having me. It's nice to be here. I'm in uh, Minneapolis. This summer I was mostly staying in a camper up in uh, Northern Wisconsin in the, in the real woods. And um, I did not, uh, I showered in a lake and that was, that was, um, every day I write running water in my gratitude journal. That's great because yeah, it's not so much showering in a lake as just soaking in filthier water. What? Not just yeah. soaking. I, yeah. I, we, we lived in a camper for the first, uh, 10 years of my life. We That's were in, fantastic. A, in a bus. Yeah. Wow. So. We could probably swap tips. We could swap tips. Where do you empty the septic tank? Are you going right. with the blue one? Do you want a, a, a compostable system? Because those things right. never work. I know. I've gone through all that. You know what I do? I keep. I had to look. I had to Google the instructions. I I don't know if I should look at the camera at you, but I had to Google the. Well, we instructions. want you to look at the corner of your room. Can you look at the back corner of your room? Your yeah. eye line should be, yeah, if you could completely turn yourself, it's just more engaging I for the had audience. I Google the instructions on this European sandy potty that came with my camper. I, it was very complicated. And I cut a lot of people um, talk about the walk of shame. Um, yeah. My walk of shame is when I like walk into a wayside rest to empty my camper, um, my portable yeah. camper toilet. Cause everyone knows what that is. They make them blue. So everyone's like, oh, there's all your feces. That's your box of feces. <laughs> and there's no- Mine is beige. Yours was blue. Your, your, your sandy potty was blue. I saw a guy get in a fight with someone at a campground while he was holding his septic tank. He just oh, emptied sweet. it. And it's like, well, you you lose whatever you're saying. Oh yeah, how about you put some respect on my name? Oh, how about you respect? It's like you you have a box. Yeah, yeah. You're you just you could. It's a lot. It's a real exclamation point on whatever you're saying is when you release your hu own human excrement out of a receptacle. Okay. In, yes. In case you didn't know what to talk about, I I per, I brought a list of possible topics. Self learning, Moses. I'm not for it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm the kind of person who's like, just put your head down and shut up and do your work. But you know, you know what the pandemic has done for people? Too much self-realization. Okay. I learned about myself that the greatest sense of accomplishment I can ever feel is when I'm almost done with a bar of soap. Wow. Yeah, okay. you, you can see what you've accomplished. You're like, oh, all that showering is paying off. And, and it's like, why do I get so excited? I, you, it's not like you can cross it off the list, Moses. You can't be like, done showering. <laughs> um, but I get so excited because I never, I've been on the road for 18 years. Like I never get to finish a bar of soap. But thanks to Donald Trump and this great pandemic of ours, uh, I've Look at how good I'm doing. Look how thin these are. Oh, you brought it. Oh, I brought it. You never see them that thin. In 18 years, I've never finished a bar of soap, and I because I'm always gone. And look at how good I'm doing. Like look at how. Look at how thin. That's and no hair on them. Look at this. No hair, thank God. <laughs> this, I think, I think you need to rebrand and you need to sell thin soap for people that need accomplishments in their life. Ooh, yeah, like the training wheel of soap. Absolutely, you get that thin, you get that accomplishment. You're welcome, America. If we're lucky, we'll have at least six more months of pandemic so I can finish these soaps. Yeah. <laughs> hey Moses, do you have a superpower? No, I have no superpower. Well, I do. What is it? Is your boss Conan O'Brien? Yeah. Since you're working for Team Coco? Yeah. Okay, so guess what? When I wake up in the morning, I don't even have to do anything. And my hair, I took, I got it on my phone. My hair 
is as good as Conan O'Brien's as soon as I get up. You Perfect see that? Hair. That's my what? hair in the morning. It looks, look at that height. That perfect swoop. What's the secret for waking up with good hair? Sleep hard. Sleep hard, have stress dreams. Sleep hard, nightmares. The sweat and anxiety will exfoliate the follicle. Oh, sure. Sweat, anxiety, dog hair, you want it all in there. And then it help. it gives it a little extra lift. Before we move on, the last business idea, you didn't ask for this, but the superpower for the hair, you have a salon that's just nothing but twin beds. People lay in the salon and then they wake up with great hair. That is a good idea. You know what though? What if you did a little helper and you were like, I'll, I'll do their hair while they're sleeping. Well, isn't that a time saver and a multi-billion dollar idea? <laughs> I think only you could get away with that business. I think that um, the smaller you are and the quieter you are at night since they're sleeping, um, the better, you, the more success you'll have. And if you know a little bit about hair, or if you have a battery operated curling iron, that'd be a big, big help. <laughs> you don't know where their outlets are, Moses. You don't know if they got an outlet behind the bed. What if they only have a USB charger and you weren't prepared for that with your curling iron? Right? To do list for Conan. If you could let him know, and if you could let Ruthie and JP, who also work there, know. The last time I was on Conan, they blew up my CD album, my last CD. I have a different CD album out, out, but this one, they blew it up. And then what happened was Conan and Andy signed it very nice of them. But then I stored it in some plastic in a in a closet in Los Angeles when I was out there. And this is the kind of air quality in LA. You guys, I, it just ate, it's just the acid of, of either the plastic or the air just chewed it away. Like this is not supposed to be there. And, and they did a nice job, took a lot of time to sign it. And now it just looks like hell. And I, I really would like it if, if they could find it in their busy schedules, if I yeah. could send them this and they could recreate it, maybe what try to be as authentic as they were the first time, because I would like to put it on my wall, but you want the same message on there, the same heartfelt message, but a redo. I will pay the postage. Hey, I apologize if my conversation is a little too mundane. Not at all. I'm enjoying this. It's the small things in life that you got to think about, Moses. Like in this time of impending doom and um, wretchedness and it just uh, putridity, you have to just focus on what you can control, the small things, right? Like, like who the fuck is using metal spatulas on my Teflon pans? Who? Who's who's doing it? Is it I the dogs? To... My husband's the only one that lives here. Get that this was a mistake. This you, was a huge mistake. You better you better not be using that on a nonstick pan. I I cook everything on a paper plate over the stove. I have a very bad life, and I have a can of beans like Dennis the Menace. I hope so. But this is the worst purchase I made in quarantine. Hands down, this has ruined my life. I got cut on this too. Yep. This, I, these should not exist. And I think this, we need to rail against these. Is All these are good for is picking up that last little bit of soap. Yeah, right. Well, you know what else that's good for? Drywall. You can mud with that. You can mud with that. So yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll drywall myself a new pan. Yeah. Is, is there a quarantine purchase you made that you regret or are absolutely love? No. I don't know. I, I can't remember all the purchases. I've, I've been doing a lot of Facebook marketplace, uh, mostly for companionship. Like, I don't need, uh oh. You just want to get to know someone via, like, I don't even want an oscillating fan. I, I did buy an oscillating fan. I even bought a ceiling fan. I didn't need it. I just was like, I need to meet somebody. I need to see a person. So, like, uh, the driveway exchange is the most... Um, it's the most uh, human uh, connection yeah. I, I've had is, is like, okay, I, I like, I'm like, okay, I'll Venmo you or I can bring cash, but you don't have to stand within six feet of me, but could you please just bring it outside and say hello? And, and, and um, I, it's, I met so many nice people. I 100% know what you mean. 
it's very embarrassing and I did not expect to admit this, but I, I just, my desk broke. So I had to get one off of Craigslist, this like a new desk quick for this. And uh, I, yeah, I, I was this woman, she came outside and gave me this desk and we were talking for a little bit and I had like, like nerves, like it was like a first date. Right, it's scary to see real people. And Facebook it, it is so much different than Craigslist where it's like, no, I don't want any contact. Here's cash, I don't want to look at you. Right. Facebook Marketplace, you have the whole profile of someone right. and their QAnon theories. So you really can hit it off quick. Sure. You can, you can, <laughs> you can, really, you can really hit it off quick or not. Um, yeah, I um, bought keys and I learned a yeah. lot about Q. Great. Well, um, I got a problem, Moses. Yeah. I just added to my workload. Oh. No, see, one's got to go. They can't both be in there. I can't shower this much. I can't. I, now it's not down to. Now it's not two soaps. It's three soaps. I got to use up. I. I'm not Wonder Woman. Your life has has taken a real dip. You started on a high. We we're very proud of this, and then this broke. Yeah. I. I. I'm. I, I'm just getting word that. Okay, yeah, that Conan is no longer sending the new album cover. He's very upset about the this. The so, oh, yeah, yeah. He does want to invest in the sleep hair business, though. Oh yeah, sleep hair. That would be a great brand ambassador. Sleep hair. That's where it's at. That's the only reason I'm here. Pitching. The, I, we don't need a Shark Tank. No. We don't need that. People already know they need somebody to do their hair while they're sleeping. <laughs> like it's an, uh, duh, that's a no brainer. Yeah. If you want to get go in on it with this online internet money you're making, you can please invest in this business. It's actually called Better Hair. B-E-D-D-E-R. Oh, uh, see, this hair. is great. Please can invest. We, please invest. Please watch your stuff online. Mary Mac. Comedy. Do an album. Comedy. Mary Mac Mac comedy. Comedy. Com. Well, this is great. I know it's good, Moses. We're business partners. Now we're business partners forever. This I thought this was gonna be an interview, but I walked away with no. a lifelong cash machine. Money, money, money. Okay, I'm muting. See you later. Okay, thank you very much.